I have to officially announce this is the water board meeting. MUB meeting will come to order now. Uh, consider consent calendar, approval of agenda and minutes. I'll make a motion to approve. Second and, and, and approved. Claims. Pretty low month. Yeah, I didn't see anything too outstanding. I'll make a motion to approve. So moved. It's all done. Finance officers report. Liabilities, uh, down at the bottom of that is your what you have out there is for debt. So you've got the LaZelle Free at $1.4 million, and then the RV loan is the first, uh, no, not first, yeah. No, 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 no. That would be the uh, state well and stuff. Work we did on that was $3.3. Yeah, And so, what is, what is that advance to other funds? And you probably tell me that every time I ask for. So that's basically where you, you we are doing the tiffs out of there, okay. but you that cash still lies there. So if you do ever need it, we can get it for you. So okay. that's our tiff money that will come back. Right, correct. Which is paid back every year per uh, percentage of it. Uh, in November, which I just did that in November, you'll see that in the fourth quarter where some of that money has been paid back. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Any other questions on the balance sheet? No. And then your next page, uh, the page four, will be your revenues. Um, you're about right at uh, the 75%, which that's where you should be at because this is the end of September. Um, so everything is, is pretty much uh, right on track to meet budget. Your metered and flat rate would be, of course, your what we are billing out each month. Actually, bulk water, did you see where bulk water really did better than what we anticipated anyway? We were probably a little low. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Any questions there? And then the next one is your expenses. And you can see that we're not even quite at 60%. So Rick and his staff is doing really good to uh, hold down expenses. So Can we back up one? What's yep. that miscellaneous revenue? And it's way down from what we thought. See it, the second box um, down? I believe... What is usually go into miscellaneous revenue? Um, you know, I can't. I can't right off the top. For well, some of my reason, head. we had sixty-five thousand in there, and we're only at at seventeen thousand. Just short. Had that at. Hmm. Boy, off the top of my head, I'm not sure why we would have went with sixty-five on that. <clears throat> what falls in there, huh? I, 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 uh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't, I, right off the top of my head, miscellaneous is such a broad uh, category. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times the auditors don't like us to use miscellaneous revenue because you it know, is so broad. Eyes because, you know, we projected 65,000 right, and now right. we're only at 16, 16, yeah. 9. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have him. If he can't figure it out, I'll go pull up the actual uh, Cassell count. So okay. we'll get it figured out. But, yeah, on the um, expense part of it, um, we're looking looking really good. 
I can't imagine, like you said, I don't think, I think a lot of the TIF is paying for some of the, the most, a lot of the water, and I'm not sure what percentage um, that the, uh, that as far as that's the only other large one. So I don't see anything big coming out of this the rest of this year. Do you, Rick? How come? For some reason. Come overtime is up so much. Oh. Meters in. Yeah. What? Unless we, for some reason, get some of our meter orders in, we shouldn't have any large expenditures right. for the rest of this year. I mean, we have uh, quite a few outstanding orders for meters. But now, this overtime wages that could that be from water breaks in that last spring? Mm -hmm. Last winter, yes. Last winter. Yeah. Finished up a project like a Sunday leagues little rally, things of that nature. There's not one of them others. We were also short staffed there for a while, so we had to, uh, we didn't have a full rotation, so people that had to cover would have all been overtime. Okay. When we, we had some staff shortages and then some medical outage. So the people that covered were working on overtime. <coughs> a certain amount of time on those things, right? right. Yeah. 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 No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. To answer your question on the uh, miscellaneous, that's reconnection fees and late fees and penalties and other things like that. Um, 21 has been quite a bit lower than in years past. I think a lot of that came in the first six months with a lot of additional stimulus money that people were able to make a lot of the payments early or on time um, and other things like that that we just didn't see quite the impact that we've seen in years past. That's also an item that does fluctuate a lot over the years. So when I look back over the last six years, it was anywhere from 40,000 for the year up to 70. Yeah, and and we did uh, reduce the actual late fee as well. Um, that's been reduced down to was it twelve? Yeah, one point five percent. So eighteen percent for a year, one point five percent a month. Um, that was a significant reduction as well. Okay. Thank you. It's early. It's early in the morning. Anything else, Sean? I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, Bay. Very nice report. From now on, I'll try to get it in the guys' packet so we can see. This is better, anyway, because sometimes on that computer it doesn't, it comes up fine print or it comes up crossways. Okay, Ron, if you have any questions, let's go home and guys, please call me. Okay. Customer concerns? Anybody getting bitches? Not about utilities. <laughs> <laughs> Water superintendent, Kurt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep, so once again, we're still having issues with whatever happened this year in the environment. Our service line leaks, we had two since our last meeting once again these were on the landowner side of the curb stop so it was their responsibility we do try to go above and beyond to help them locate and whoever the contractor is to kind of ease ease the pain of having to replace or fix their line um, doesn't always work we're not always able to locate with pinpoint precision we uh had an issue at well five. We're still investigating kind of an ish, uh, power issue. Um, our motor saver is doing its job. It was shutting the well down and calling me to let me know. Um, we still haven't been able to diagnose the full issue there. Um, with the, uh, with the revenue question you had, um, 
Our shutoff lists are staying low ever since I have been here. We have had very few lists that, you know, were double digits. Um, more often than not, we're, we're two or three. So that is, that falls into that category as well then, just to kind of follow up from the operator stance that our shutoff numbers tend to be low and that's a good thing. The I-90 crossing, we already kind of spoke a bit. Um, it's going to be a dry tap, um, so we have to isolate some water. We have two Babco pressure relief valves that hook onto a fire hydrant, so our plan is to fire up the well that is on the other side of our isolation and have these going so we don't overpressure the line, everyone except for a small isolation area should maintain water. And and then we can, the contractors can do the tie-in, get everything set, and then we'll have the water going again. We're actually, I plan on attempting, not attempting, but doing a trial run this morning to make sure we've got everything dialed in. We can do a short run of 10, 20 minutes. That way we're relatively sure that when the time comes, we're not going to have a bunch of phone calls and complaints. So we uh, we did manage to flush a few hydrants, and that is still on my list. The weather is nice. I would very much like to get some more flushing done. That is 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 an important thing that just seems to always get pushed back. It, it, at some point, it has to be my number one priority, but so far, other things seem to dictate that. We do have, we did receive an order of some water meters that we can use. They, they're not the same kind as what we have been running, but they do operate with our system. They're not our first choice in that, for that reason. They're, they're, they're a different brand, but we have been testing a couple for a few months and they have operated quite famously, to be honest. So, um, basically, I call these the emergency meters. We are able to label them through the billing software so we can do a search. And if anything were to ever go wrong with these, we can find these meters wherever they are located in town. So it's 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 a good thing. This, this other company seems to be able to make meters where other companies can't. I, I still don't understand the, the supply issues there. They... Uh, through that supply issue deal, there are some other miscellaneous products that we are trying. Um, the simple reason is they, if you can't buy what you normally had, but you still are out of materials, you need to get something that works. It isn't always what we're familiar with. Um, there is a learning curve with that, and, and it seems to be working so far. There's have some decent connections with other cities that, that, you know, if I call them and say, Hey, have you tried these? They say, yeah, they work great or no boy, don't stay away from that. So everything isn't as it was with brand names, you know, availability will hopefully change soon. There, I'm done. <laughs> Unless you got questions. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. Just one, one thing I wanted to mention with what Todd said about um, not having many shutoffs is um, Jen, Jen is the one that really works on that. She had six pages to call this wow. time, and she actually called everyone, and that's why you have only, you know, six, five, four shutoffs. So she really is doing a marvelous job. Yeah, great. Thank her for us. Rick? Morning. Uh, things are starting to slow down a little bit on the uh, development side of things. Um, we are finally closed out on the Garden Grove, which is the Davenport property uh, subdivision and the hillside uh, subdivision up, up on the uh, north side of town going up uh, Dump Hill Road. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, all of those are ready. We did actually, we saw the first... Uh, Locate came in yesterday uh, for a gentleman that was starting to uh, 
inquiry about doing percolation tests for uh, on-site, small on-site uh, individual wastewater system. Uh, his sell of the lot was contingent on the perk test. Uh, based on the soil analysis that we've seen during development, we don't have any uh, concerns that it won't perk. So I think we're likely, especially if the weather holds out, we're likely to see uh, our first building permit being pulled out there uh, probably in the next 30 days, um, which lends us to be pretty good. Uh, I'll kind of go back into those those for those people online as well. Uh, on our I-90 uh, uh, extension line, uh, which is getting water to that development, uh, our end contract date is April. And, and given the fact that we don't have any building permits or we're just seeing the first, um, we should have water up to that subdivision uh, in plenty of time before they would need it for their uh, any of their plumbing. Uh, so we're sitting pretty good there. Uh, both the bores, both the water and the sewer have been made underneath the interstate. Uh, next week they'll they'll connect make the connection into the live main or the we're going to isolate it but but we'll make connection to the water um, and then they'll continue uh, installing line up to the you can see the dirt work that's that's ongoing now is actually the foundation for the uh, booster station skid uh, that is in production it's being uh, manufactured out of Mitchell. Um, when it comes, it'll it'll come ready to be hooked up and turned on. Uh, it comes all pre-assembled as a precast building with all the 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 pumps and the and the, the booster pumps and everything in it. You basically set it on that foundation and then make the connections, uh, and it's ready to go. So once it does arrive, it's a fairly quick turnaround. It's it's a few days, and it's actually uh, can be put into production. Um, as of, of our last meeting on that project, we don't anticipate any delays or we haven't given any indication that any of the manufacturer uh, shutdown or slowdown is going to have any delays or impact on that project. Uh, so we're, we're fully expected to um, meet that deadline of April uh, for that particular project. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be a good thing. Uh, we continue to work with the uh, developers of the what we call the bestium property down below. Uh, they're continuing to refine their documents and, and their layout. Um, we're working with them to look at other um, alternative routes for both water and sewer uh, and some connection points that will help us to uh, loop our systems and possibly even be able to uh, remove at some point in time, take that booster station or, or lift stations offline. Uh, we did submit late last or the 1st of October. I don't remember if I, I updated you or not, but we did submit onto this to the uh, state revolving fund uh, for a couple of water projects, one of them being over there to make that connection. Um, we haven't heard anything more on that and likely we won't until after the first of the year. Um, additionally, uh, myself and Daniel uh, and a couple other staff members met with uh, Midwestern Water Association, which is basically a project they're looking for support, a uh, project that would bring Missouri River water out to the Black Hills. Uh, we listened to a presentation they made. I think it's important for us to stay involved in those things, uh, even though that particular project might not have a direct or initial impact on us since we use deep, deep well water. Um, the, the communities that it probably more, more has a, an advantage to are, are those that use surface water like Rapid City where they pull water out of Pactola, um, Box Elder that has some water quality issues or when you start getting into the Southern Hills, <clears throat> they have some water quality issues. Uh, those are the communities that it greatly impacts. Um, and any of those that you can take off of the, the water system helps replenish our aquifer uh, considerably faster. So it is important for us to stay abreast on those. And, and we have agreed that, uh, you know, it's an important topic and, and we want to be a partner in it. I'm not sure at this point what level. Um, they did apply for some uh, use of those state revolving loan fund too. So I think what we'll see in the future is, is that they'll probably get some of that money. And then basically what they're doing is, is they're putting together the study still that shows that there's uh, a demand for this this line uh, to come out here and and likely it would be 
uh, years and years and years before we would ever see it. I don't think any of us in our lifetime would ever actually see water from the Missouri River out here to the Black Hills, but this is the groundwork to get that project rolling and to get it started. So uh, it is an important topic and it's important for the city uh, to stay involved in that. So um, other than that, uh, we're continuing to work on the Pine Glen uh, water sewer extension. Uh, we did meet with our, our consultants uh, here a few weeks ago and the developer, and I think we've pretty much got the uh, plans all hammered out at this point in time. So our next step there is we'll probably be looking to uh, sometime early to mid-December. Uh, we'll let, we'll uh, have a landowner meeting for all of those property owners along Pine Glen who are going to be affected, um, both by the developer and, and the other landowners out there. Of course, when we, we make these improvements, uh, we'll stub out sewer and water. We'll actually make water connection. Uh, all of the people out there are currently on the city water, so we'll make connection. Uh, we should see an increase in their water pressure. We should have a because we'll be hooking, tying into the to the uh, high pressure line, so uh, they should see an improvement in their water pressure. Um, we'll stub out sewer most of those homes, and, and I think there's a total of seven properties that we're talking about. Uh, they have individual on-site small septic systems. Um, we're, we're not going to force them to abandon those, but we're going to make those uh, stub outs available so at such time that their uh, systems do need repair or replacement, then they would they would be able to hook into the uh, city sewer. And then, of course, we'll end up paving the road. So uh, we'll have some discussions with them about some of the benefits they're going to start receiving. Um, once we do that, uh, of course, we'll be, be responsible for snow removal. We'll likely... Um, the plan moving forward would be to uh, to get them on city garbage service as well, um, and then of course their their enhanced water. So uh, we did meet with Black Hills Power and Light. They're going to be installing some street lights out there as well. So I think there will be some uh, significant upgrades that everybody should be uh, fairly happy about. Um, I believe that's about it. We're just uh, winding down for the end of the year and and uh, getting ready for our snow season. Uh, usually that cold weather and snow uh, is typically when we do see our, our water breaks. Um, we get the ground, uh, that thaw and freeze cycle a little bit and it shifts those pipes around and that's traditionally when we see our, our water breaks. So we're trying to get geared up for that. Um, like Todd said, we're trying to uh, find materials uh, that we can make repairs with and, and in the event that we can't find those specific materials that we're used to, used to or custom to, uh, we're looking at alternative methods, uh, whether that be different valving or, or different connections, um, things of that nature uh, that, that we can get readily available um, and have them on stock so that we have them ready to go. It's always very difficult. It never fails. Seems like when we do have a water break or whatever, it's usually in the middle of the night, and and you can't run to the store and pick up parts anyway. So we try and have a little bit of an inventory of everything so that we're able to uh, react to that fairly quick. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. That, that's up, the hill subdivision up there, you know that one. Is that that's not in the city, is it? It is. It's been annexed it's been in. Annexed yes. Called. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because that's huh? Bestion, the, the existing Bestion addition has not been annexed, but everything around it has. The new one? Yes, the new one. Okay. Yep. So then the question would be, and, and I got asked then, how come they didn't have to hook up city sewer? Uh, because we're we, allowing them to put in their be, own. Because those lots are, are uh, to a size that we gave them a variance. Uh, we don't have city sewer within 400 feet, which is the required connection. Um, if you're within 400 feet, we don't have sewer up there. And in order to get sewer there, we would actually have to install a lift station. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're working uh, on the future of this other development uh, to get sewer there. But those lots were of, those lots were all big enough where they didn't need to have. They could have actually on site. And that's what the county would have allowed um, had we not annexed them in. So uh, that that subdivision was was submitted to the city um, and we actually created a mountainous subdivision guidelines to go by and one of the things that's why it doesn't have curb and gutter and sidewalks as well okay 
Yeah, well, but at one time, best, that little best addition thing we talked about, you know, they talked about getting water from us. We're, we're still working on that with the uh, owners of that water system. As of right now, we're going to provide them a direct hookup, a metered hookup, uh, similar to what we do to the trailer trailer course. They'll have one bulk hookup, and then it's up to them to distribute it and, and charge their customers and, and all of that. So that's probably going to happen then. Huh? That, that will happen, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Whether we're still in negotiation with them, whether we would actually end up annexing in that particular properties and, and making the required improvements. But um, for the time being, once water is available, we will make a, a master hookup for them, and, and they'll have city water at least. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Public hearings, nothing listed. Yeah, we're doing good. We're keeping everybody happy. Old business. Don't remember anything on that old business still. Attorney's not here. He's not here. He brought up the old business for us today. Okay. New business. We pretty well cover things that are coming up, but we don't have anything we need to act on. Other matters that may become before the MUB. You have anything, Sean? I have nothing. Nothing? Not on the table. Anybody have anything else other than this? Discussion, general, whatever. We don't need an executive session, so... Motion to adjourn. Approved. Thank you, everybody, for coming.